Understanding the Expectations of the GMAT and GRE Essays Hello learners! Today, we're diving deep into the heart of GMAT and GRE essay writing, understanding the expectations of the test. It's crucial to not just write well, but to write what the examiners are looking for. So, let's unravel the mystery behind it. Both the GMAT and GRE have essay sections that aim to evaluate your ability to think critically and communicate your ideas. They aren't looking for the next Shakespeare but want to see if you can. Present an argument or analysis logically. Support ideas with relevant reasons and examples. Follow the rules of standard written English. There are generally two types of essay tasks you might encounter. 1. Analysis of an issue. Here, you'll need to provide your perspective on an issue, backing up your stance with reasons and examples. 2. Analysis of an argument. In this task, you'll evaluate the logical soundness of an argument given to you, rather than presenting your own. For both tasks, it's essential to understand what the prompt is asking and respond accordingly. The essays are scored on a few critical areas. Quality of ideas. Is your response thoughtful and relevant to the prompt? Organization and development. Have you structured your essay well, with a clear introduction, body, and conclusion? Do you have transitional phrases? Clarity. Can the reader easily follow your train of thought? Grammar and syntax. Is your essay free of errors? It's crucial to address all these areas to secure a high score. To really align with what examiners are looking for. 1. Stay on topic. Avoid the temptation to veer off track. Always refer back to the prompt. 2. Be objective especially when analyzing an argument. Stick to logical reasoning rather than emotional appeal. 3. Practice. The more you write, the better you'll become at understanding the nuances of various prompts. Mastering the essay section of the GMAT and GRE isn't just about being a good writer. It's about understanding what's expected and tailoring your response accordingly. With the right approach and plenty of practice, you'll be well on your way to acing this section. Happy writing, and until next time, keep learning.